Before we create our stock material, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a chain that defines the bottom of this surface. We'll use Auto Chain to do that. So go to their Chains tool, toolbar, select Auto Chain, select this bottom corner here, tell it we want to go in this direction along this um, element there, and then select that corner again, and it will make you that Auto Chain that went all the way around the base of the part. That will give us something to, uh, to base our definition of the stock material on. Before we move on from that, though, we're going to have to tell Esprit that we're doing a milling operation. At this point, Esprit doesn't know if we're doing milling, turning, or wire EDM operations. So we'll go over here and select a milling operation. With that done, we get our simulation toolbar available. So we go ahead and select the simulation toolbar. Come out to simulation parameters. And it's either on the options or the solids tab here. On the solids tab, we're going to create stock from an extrusion. Select the feature, and we want to select that chain feature that we just created. And then we'll add that. Let's see, before we add it, let's go ahead and say 0.75 inches tall in Z and 0 for minus C and go ahead and add that and select okay your stock might not say stock number four there it doesn't matter and now if we hit the stop button or the pause button on the simulation toolbar here it'll draw the stock and we can see where it appears there if you're really quick at looking at this you may notice that the boss on the workpiece over here sticks up above the 0 0.75. 0 0.75 actually brings us to this top surface here. For the exercise that we're doing here with creating holes, we, uh, we don't need to worry about machining that boss and we'll take care of that in a later exercise.